Hello, good people of the internet. My name is Hexa and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys about my favorite health and wellness apps that I use that have impacted my life positively in some way. They're basically apps for self-care, mental health, physical health, and hopefully some of these apps will help you to improve your habits a little bit or just lead a happier, healthier life one way or another. So the first app I wanna talk about is Sleep Cycle, and I think this is the one that I've been using for the longest. I feel like I've had it for like three or four years now and I use it every single night. So Sleep Cycle has several functions that I like. First of all, it listens to like your movements and your breathing throughout the night. And it has an alarm clock, which based on that information will try to wake you up when you are in a lighter sleep to avoid kind of like jolting you awake. Um, from your dream or whatever. You know, like when you're in a really deep sleep and your alarm rings and you just like wake up so suddenly and like adrenaline is just flooding your system and your heart is beating so fast cause like you're in such a relaxed state and then you've been jolted awake. It's a really unnatural, unpleasant way to wake up and sleep cycle tries to avoid that. You essentially give it a window of time within which it should wake you up. So like if you set your alarm for seven, it will wake you up sometime between 6 30 to 7 I think you can adjust this window to like shorter like a 15 minute window to wake you up in or like a one hour window to wake you up in but I just like set it to 30 minutes which which is I think the standard setting it also records your snoring which has been a very funny and interesting function because I as it turns out snore a lot and pretty loudly and it's kind of funny to like listen to <laughs> these like little clips of my snores that the app records through the night. I'm gonna find one from last night to play for you guys. It's really embarrassing. I'm kind of like outing myself as a snorer right now. Um, so this was from 5 a.m. It just records these like 15 second clips. It's really bad. It also will give you like a sleep quality rating based on how much of the night was spent in a deep sleep versus a light sleep and like the amount of time that you have slept for I think also affects it. And before you go to bed, it will give you like a little kind of like a quiz where you can fill out a few things that like a few factors that the app thinks could be affecting your sleep. So like if you felt tired that day, if you had a bad day or a stressful day, if you were sick, if you had a headache. It has sleep sounds as well to like help you fall asleep and a bunch of other features that you would expect to be on this kind of app. I really love Sleep Cycle. I just feel like it gives a lot of valuable information as far as your sleep quality. Like sleep is so important for your health and your overall well-being. And it's just nice to have something that tracks how much you're sleeping for, how well you're sleeping and what kind of things affect your sleep. And hopefully that information and the patterns that you recognize can help you or encourage you to make changes to improve your sleep. The second app is another one of my absolute favorites. It is called Plant Nanny. And this is an app for people who struggle to drink enough water. Basically, you get a virtual plant and you have to take care of it by drinking water. Like every time you drink water, you water the plant. When you get the app, it asks you for some information like your body weight and I think like your age and your activity level to determine how much water the app thinks you should be drinking. And then they have like an icon with different kinds of cups and you can like label those and choose like, you know, this cup is like 200 milliliters and this bottle is 500 milliliters or whatever and you can like select which kind of cup that you drink the amount of water out of and then just like water your plant. They have a bunch of different species of plants that you can choose from. I think some of them are real plant species and others I have never heard of and are possibly like just made up um, plant species, but they're all very different and they're really cute. Your plant will grow so it has like I think three or four different phases like or like levels where if you've done well and you've like kept the plant alive for a few days then it will like level up to the next level and it'll grow and then once it reaches its final stage and it is all grown up then you can take 
the plant and like move it to your garden where you can kind of collect the different plant species that you have taken care of. And the plants that are in the garden will give you seeds, which are kind of like currency and you can use those seeds to access other plant species. Like there's three plant species that are free and then other ones that you have to use seeds to pay for them. But like you don't have to spend any money at all in the app. There are like in app purchases you can make, but you don't have to buy or spend any money to actually take full advantage of the app. The plants also have different difficulty levels. So there are plants that like, if you drink just 50% of your recommended water intake, that's enough to keep it alive. Other plants you need to drink 70% or it's gonna die. And yeah, it the plant goes through like four stages of health. So there's like, when you're drinking enough water consistently, then it's healthy and it's just like a happy looking plant. If you haven't had enough water for like one day, it will have like a sad face and like a little drop of water next to it, letting you know you need to drink more water. After two days of not drinking enough water, it will be dying. And then after three days, it's gonna be dead. And you can use like water of life or something to bring it back to life or you have to just bury it and get another one. I think when you start with the app, you get like 10 drops of life or something. And then after that, you have to buy more with like actual money in the, in the app. I feel like I'm rambling. <laughs> the point is it's a really cute app. There's lots of different plant species you can collect. You can give the plant species names. Like they, they tell you like the name of the species and you can just keep it as that as like the name of a species or you can name your plant something. I like to name my plants after things that I want to manifest that I want to like attract into my life. So I'll name the plant like peace or happiness or 5,000 subscribers or you know, and in my head, it's like if, if I let the plant die, then I'm letting my dream, my goal die. So it gives me like extra motivation to keep the plant alive. That was a very long winded way to say that if you have a hard time drinking enough water. It's a really fun app and it really motivates me personally to um, drink enough water. And I think it could really help you out as well um, if you're into that kind of cute silly stuff. <laughs> Our next app needs to come with a little bit of a trigger warning. If you suffer from an eating disorder, this app might not be a great option for you. It might be a little bit triggering. So just wanna put that out there. The app that I'm talking about is MyFitnessPal. This is a calorie tracking app. I personally have really enjoyed using MyFitnessPal. It um, helped me a lot on my weight gain journey. A lot of people uh, can, can get like really deeply emotionally affected by calorie counting. So, um, you know, if that's something that you're a bit sensitive to, this might not be a great app for you. However, on the other hand, if you're not one of these people and if tracking calories doesn't have like a negative effect on your mental health, then I think this is a really great option. You basically have breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and like it also tracks like water intake and it will track how many steps you are taking. Like just in the background, it records how many steps you're taking every day and like the more calories that you burn through walking the more it like raises your calorie allowance based on your goals you can use my fitness pal for anything you can use it if you want to lose weight you can use it if you want to gain weight you basically tell it what your goals are and how quickly you want to get there so if you want to gain like half a kilogram a week or you want to lose of 0.2 kilograms a week or whatever, um, you put that in and it will adjust your daily calorie intake based on that and let you know like how much you need to eat to reach that goal. And then you have a search bar where you search for the foods that you're eating and you input them into the app under the different meals. It also has a barcode scanning feature that I absolutely love. It just scans barcodes from different products and most of the time it has them in the system already. It keeps track of your macros. So your carbs, proteins, and fats, and lets you know like what percentages you should be eating of each. And it also shows you your micronutrients. So things like, you know, iron, calcium, different vitamins. This app is of course great for dieting, whether you wanna lose weight or gain weight, it just helps to keep track of your progress and let you know what you need to be doing to reach those goals. But what's really great about it is it also helps you learn more about the kind of nutrients that you're missing 
missing in your diet. I've found a lot of the time that I will be getting like too much of a certain vitamin or mineral or too little of a certain vitamin or mineral. And it's just been really, really helpful and eye-opening to uh, become more aware of the foods that I'm eating and like what foods will give me which nutrients and that helps me become more aware of how much variety I need to have in my diet to keep everything balanced. Up next, I wanna talk about Clue, which is a period tracking app. This is a great app in so many ways for so many different reasons. You can use it to record when your period starts and like how light or heavy it is across the days of your period. There's a lot of data that it collects, um, like things like your mood, your sleep, your cravings, your digestion. It tracks your energy levels. It tracks when you are sexually active. It tracks like your birth control. You just like click some buttons and you put in all of that information, you can use it as much or as little as, as you want. You can give it as much or as little information as you want. But I think this app is great for two reasons. Number one, it helps you to recognize the patterns of like how many days apart your periods usually are so that you can hopefully avoid being surprised by your period if it comes early. And it's also helpful if you're trying to get pregnant because it tells you like when your approximate fertility window is when you can get pregnant. For those reasons, I think Clue is a great app for any woman to have on her phone. I think it's just like made my life a lot easier at times. And I think you can also give the app permission to like collect your data for a greater database of research into women's health, which is also pretty cool. The next app I wanna talk about is Couch to 5K by Zen Labs. This is a running app. And what it aims to do is within an eight week program, it takes you from being a couch potato to being able to run five kilometers without stopping. I have a confession. <laughs> I've never actually finished the Couch to 5K program. It has been <laughs> something I've wanted to do for a really long time, um, but I just, <laughs> I, I've never actually completed the entire program. However, I have used the program several times and it is really great. The way it works is you're supposed to go out jogging like three times a week and the app will give you like a start stop sequence. So it'll say like jog one minute and then walk one and a half minutes or I don't know exactly what the intervals are, but it's something like that. I think I remember there's like eight reps on your first week and every week it gets a little bit harder. So like a little bit more running, a little bit less walking. And the hope is that it will very slowly and surely train you to be able to run for longer and it kind of just like slowly raises your stamina. By the way, don't get discouraged if you can't complete the entire run in the first week. I know that for me that was also really difficult. So I started off just doing like two or three reps for the first week until I got comfortable with it. And then I started to do the full program. So you can take it as slowly as you want to really. Of course, if you have any health conditions, it is a good idea to talk to your doctor first before starting a running program like this. But if you're just, you know, an average person with an average body, <laughs> this should be really fine for you to get started with. The last time I did this program really successfully, I was maybe about 16 and I got to a point where I could jog for 20 minutes minutes without stopping where when I began the program it was like I felt like I was dying every single time and I remember like I felt really really good about the progress that I made with this app and it was really really helpful for me uh, if you want to get healthy and do more exercise do more running and you don't know where to start I think couch to 5k is a really great option the last app I want to tell you guys about is digipill digipill is another one of my absolute favorites for a while there it was like really ingrained in my routine. I stopped using it for a while and then I've recently started again. DigiPill is hard to explain. It's kind of a meditation app, but it's kind of a hypnotherapy app. I'm not sure exactly how it's supposed to work, but basically DigiPill has a bunch of tracks. They are, I think most of them narrated, narrated by um, a Scottish man, I believe, based on his accent. Editing Hexa here. Brian Colbert, the NLP practitioner who narrates DigiPill is in fact Irish, not Scottish. I 
apologize profusely to both Irish and Scottish people for making this very stupid mistake. Clearly, I still have some work to do in the department of distinguishing different accents from each other. I actually went to Ireland at the beginning of this year, so um, that makes me doubly embarrassed of this mistake. I'm looking at the app now. They have tracks for relaxation, sleep, motivation to lose weight, peace of mind and like easing anxiety, confidence, a power nap track, motivation, lateral thinking, clear mind, creativity, depression, trance tripping, which I've used once and it's like has a lot of like weird sounds going on. It's supposed to be for exploration, concentration, closure, well-being, perseverance, self-discipline, stop smoking, achievement. They have some for like increasing your sexual confidence. They have a man magnet and a babe magnet and they have one for fear of flying. I don't know exactly how you're supposed to use these tracks. I like to just play them as I'm going to sleep and I'll usually fall asleep listening to them and I've convinced myself that they somehow subliminally reprogram my mind. <laughs> but of course I think you could also do them just like consciously meditating on these tracks. I don't know what it is about them. They're very unique. They're very special. They're unlike anything else I have ever seen on a meditation app. And I personally just really enjoy them. They're just very relaxing and very nice, um, very well constructed kind of um, meditation tracks. You do have to pay for this app. So you get one pill, like that's what they call them. They're digi pills, digital pills for your mind. Um, so that you get one pill for free and then you can unlock individual pills or you can unlock all of them. I have the annual subscription to all of the pills and I just use them interchangeably. Right now I'm using the motivation one a lot. So yeah, DigiPill, a little bit of an unusual meditation slash hypnosis slash subliminal messaging um, app. <laughs> I really like it personally and yeah, maybe just try it out. That was it for all of my favorite health and wellness apps. I hope you liked this video and found some recommendations for apps that will help you out somehow. If you have any app recommendations that you really like, then leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to know. If you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and leave a like for me. You can also follow me on social media. It is all linked down below as well as my Patreon where you can support this channel and my art shop where you can buy my art. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!